Hey Rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. I'm very excited for this episode. We have so much going on. As you guys just saw, Cornelius and Ellis are engaged and we're going to be seeing them in just a second. We are also going to be having Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton's wedding. Then we are going to have a double date with Frederick and Jessica and William and Minerva. We're going to have Diana and Abraham's wedding. And then we're going to go to the Winnenberg Palace for a bit and we're going to go see Alice May. We're going to talk about the first intro because there was two intros. So yeah, there's a lot going on and I'm really excited. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Real quick before we begin, just letting you guys know, I did post two story posts on my Instagram. The first one is a scene with Han and Araminta. And the second one is a flashback of Kaleo and Alice May and Samaria and Makana are in that too. So if you want to go ahead and read those, if you have not read those yet, I am linking those in the description below. But basically the one about Han and Araminta, they're trying for their third baby. However, we will probably not be going to them to try for a baby and to have Araminta be pregnant until the next episode. And then the flashback with Kaleo and Alice May, we will talk about later in the video, but just wanted to let you guys know about those. So yeah, we are at the Willow Creek Royal Palace. Alice just proposed to Cornelius at the Sylvan Glade because that's like their special place. Obviously all of Cornelius' family is really excited. They love Alice. We are actually going to have them go to the city for dinner to celebrate. I think we will have a separate engagement party with more people though. I might try to do that in the next episode, but this is just the family going out to celebrate. Because if you guys saw the last video that I posted was a mod review, we're gonna go now, but was a mod review of Nando's Romance in France mod. So we're going to be going, I don't know which one's like, I don't know if any of these are fancier. I think it's this one. This one's probably fancier. Obviously Genevieve is still traveling. Actually, so before this, like as soon as Cornelius and Ellis got engaged, Cornelius called Genevieve. I think that Genevieve already knew that Ellis was gonna propose to Cornelius. Like I feel like Ellis probably told her beforehand. I mean, they're super close too. He probably gave her a call. Genevieve is just traveling all around the world. She's just, she wanted to sightsee. She wanted to learn about different cultures. So she's just kind of going from one place to another. We will definitely see her soon. She told Cornelius, obviously she would be there for the wedding. However, I think that Cornelius wanted her to come back to celebrate their engagement. But I do feel like Genevieve said that she couldn't. And I think that Cornelius might have gotten a little upset about that. I think Ellis was trying to calm down Cornelius and just saying like, Genevieve probably has like a very set schedule and itinerary that she wants to follow. Like you don't make her try to break from that. She'll be here for the wedding. She calls them and FaceTimes them like all the time. But we will be seeing Genevieve soon, I promise. But yeah, if you did not see my mod review on Nando's Romance in France mod, this is our new world. It's supposed to be Paris. So I just figured it would be an extension of Willow Creek. We'll pretend this has like always been here. I would probably think that this is about like a half an hour trip from the palace, but they are gonna be having dinner here. So I'm gonna have King Louis request this table for the six of them. And guys, I'm so happy for them too. Like I think that Ellis had been wanting to propose to Cornelius for a while. If you guys remember in the last episode, Ellis had talked to Gabriel about like, just wondering when do you know if it's the right time to propose? And Ellis had been struggling a little bit it, especially at the beginning of their relationship. He just was struggling getting used to the royal lifestyle, but they've been together for years now. He's gotten a lot more comfortable with it. Arya has helped him with that. They have become pretty good friends. I think it's nice that the whole family is going out to celebrate. Again, with the weddings, they usually take some time. So the wedding probably is not going to be for another, I would say like three to five episodes or so. Okay, the lights just turned on. So I'm sure they'll all like go for a walk as a family after dinner and stuff, but it's so beautiful. This is amazing. This mod is by Nando. I will link my overview of it in the description below. I think that we might have some couples go here for their honeymoon. We might have some couples just go here on a date, but yeah. Okay, so we have a lot to get to in this episode. So we're going to go ahead and move on, but yeah, they're happy. We're happy for Corn Farm. Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead to Diana and Abraham's wedding. Okay, so we're here at the second Windenburg Palace. This is where Diana chose to have her wedding. Also a big reason for this is because I'd never had a wedding here and I forgot that there is a wedding arch back here. There's also a piano. Amira is going to be playing a song for Diana when she walks down the aisle. Just because playing the piano has always been a way that they have bonded. So I think that would be really special for Diana. And then I have Diana here. This is her in her wedding dress. And of course we have Evangeline. She's upstairs. They should probably come downstairs for the wedding. We have Megan here. So Kellen and William should be here too. We have Maxwell. 
Maxwell and Journey. So they're here too. If you don't remember, Maxwell is Evangeline's nephew, his brother Lucas, and then Evangeline's sister, Valentina. They should also be here. We'll see them all. They, they should gather when we start the wedding. I think about all the guests have shown up at this point. So I am just gonna go ahead and start the wedding and then we will see everyone too. I think the sun, well, okay, yeah, the sun will be setting fairly soon. And we'll have the wedding while the sun sets. So let's go ahead and have Abraham and Diana get married. Okay, so they are getting married, you guys. They're so cute. I actually think that Diana and Abraham are the ones who's going to be having their honeymoon in Paris, or I guess Willow Creek, we'll call it Willow Creek. So they'll be having it in the city of Willow Creek, but I just think it's a good place for them. Like they've been to Willow Creek a lot, at least Diana has, but I don't think they really go into the city that often. So I think that's where they're going to be spending their honeymoon. There's also just like a lot of museums and a lot of art for them to go see. So yeah, that is where they will be having their honeymoon. I can't believe Diana's getting married, you guys. Everyone always says this and I agree. Diana just like, I just remember when she was a little kid, just like following around a mirror everywhere as a toddler. Oh my gosh, she was so cute and now she's getting married. <laughs> They're so cute. She looks so beautiful. I love her. And Abraham's really good to her. They just have a lot in common. So I mentioned this previously, but in case you didn't remember, Amira is going to be gifting her the title of Baroness. So she's going to be Baroness Diana of Windenburg. But yeah, guys, they're married. I'm so happy for them. We've got a bunch of people here. We have Alice May. We have Kaleo. We have Molly Grace. Jessica's over here. Johan. I, oh, this is a rando. That's a rando. Wait, what? I didn't invite you. And then we have Kellen. He's here. Fallon is here. So Charles and Beldrick should also be here somewhere. I don't know where they are. And then we have Cedric over here. Ah, look at him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. I do also have Makai and Lily here just because Makai was so close with the family for so long. Also now his daughter and Amira's daughter are really good friends. Oh wait, there's Charles. Charles came running in. Yay. There's Charles. I don't know where Bellatrix is though. Okay, here's Bellatrix. I had to teleport her, but she is here. Yay, the whole fam's here. I need to get a picture of all the siblings together. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be so cute. And with Evangeline too, that'll be adorable. But I am going to have Diana and Abraham go ahead and cut the cake. You guys, I can't believe, I'm so happy for them. I do think they're gonna stay here for a bit at the second Windenburg Palace, just because I don't want them to like leave Evangeline. Like I don't think Diana would wanna leave her mother. I think her and her mother are pretty close. Also, my gosh, she's like booking it in her wedding dress. Why is Abraham still all the way over here? I don't know why they won't go join people, but they need to. All right, well, I had to reset him. And now they're not doing that cute wedding cake animation, but I'll have them kiss. But yay, they're so cute, you guys. And look how pretty this is now too, with the sunset and everything. This is just a gorgeous place to have a wedding. Okay, they are now going to slow dance together. Oh, it's kind of clipping a little bit, but they're so cute. And then yeah, everyone else will come dance. They'll have fun with their family, with their friends. I'll make sure to get a lot of good pictures and post them on Instagram. But all right, we still need to do a few other things. So next we're going to skip to the next day. We're gonna have a double date. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it is now the next day. We are at this little cafe in Windenburg. I believe we've been here before actually. But we are here on a double date with Frederick and Jessica and with Will William and Minerva. Also, I know some people love Molly Grace, so I, I'll just give you guys a little update. Molly Grace has been continuing ballet. She's had several big dance recitals by now. It's something that she absolutely loves. We will definitely see her more a little bit later, I promise. For now, we're gonna be focusing on Frederick and these kiddos right here. But let's go ahead, I'll have them all sit together. So it's just more like a casual double date. Again, since they're like a little bit younger, I didn't know if they'd be going to like a fancy restaurant or anything like that yet. Maybe eventually, but I think that they just wanted to be able to all hang out together. But William and Minerva have been talking for a while. Gabriel is gone, he moved out. He is married to Arya now and he's on his honeymoon, so he's away. So she doesn't have to worry about her overprotective big brother right now. But yeah, Minerva and William have been talking for some time, but this is the first time that they're really hanging out together, even though they're here with Jessica and Frederick. I do feel like Frederick was like, oh, come on, let's go join them. And Jessica was like, no, wait, let them be alone for a little bit. Look at her just vibing. She's like, yeah, we can stay in here. They've got their little, I don't know, like a scone or something. And William and Minerva are just sitting out here together. I think that's so cute. They have a really high romantic relationship too. They could have their first kiss already. I think now that him and Minerva have been talking 
for a little bit longer. I think he's starting to calm down a bit. All right, but I'm going to have them have their first kiss. I wonder because they've been talking so long. I wonder if William would ask Minerva to be his girlfriend. I think he would. All right, guys, William and Minerva are having their first kiss. <gasps> They're so cute. I, why do I feel like Jessica is spying on them through this window? She, oh my God, wait, she is, she can see them. Jessica probably saw them kiss and was like, yay. <laughs> Maybe now they feel better about joining them. Let's go ahead and have them all sit. Oh, wait, they're slow dancing together. No, don't, don't interrupt them. Oh my God, wait, that's so cute. They just, I didn't even tell them to do that. They just randomly started slow dancing together. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? It's probably because they were slow dancing at the club together and that's when Gabriel yelled at them. So they never actually got to have their dance together. So they just decided to have it outside in the middle of this cafe. That's so cute. Good, they're cute. All right, well, um, Frederick, okay. <laughs> Jessica just like came by and waved at them like, hey, what are you guys doing? Frederick and Jessica are cute too. I think that Minerva might end up hanging out with the friend group a little bit more now. If her and William are together, I think that William would wanna bring her to a lot of the gatherings that they have like as their little friend group. But yeah, I'm sure we will see more of them. We'll see more of Jessica and Frederick too. We'll see more of Molly Grace, I promise. But we have another wedding to get to. So we're going to, actually Princess Belle is right here, but we are going to, oh wait, no, hold on. Princess Belle is having lunch with Maya. That's so cute. She's having lunch with her sister-in-law. Okay, well, we're gonna skip to the next day and we're gonna have Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Tratton's wedding. So we're gonna go to Brindleton Bay to do that. So yeah, let's go. We are now in Brindleton Bay. I decided to do this here. I just realized I'm doing this for both of the weddings where it has like a wedding arch already in the world, but there is a wedding arch over here. So I thought this would be a really pretty place for them to get married. Like it's on the water. It has this like awning here too, leading up to it. This is supposed to be like a little bit of a smaller wedding reception. I tried to just invite more like close family. Anyway, okay, we are going to have them get married. So let's go ahead and have them go here. So I did decide that Thomas is going to be transferred to the Brindleton Bay Palace. So he's gonna be working there as a guard. And then Ariana and Thomas, I actually haven't decided if they're going to be staying at the house, like at her parents' house yet, but Ariana will be inheriting the title of Countess, like once her parents pass away. But yeah, they're gonna be staying in Brindleton Bay. Thomas is gonna be transferred over here. Okay, so they are now getting married. I just love that this is like on the water. It's gorgeous. I'm happy for them. I also just love the dress because Ariana looks really good in kind of like vintage -y clothing. And I thought the dress was very fitting for that, but I love them. Their kids are gonna be so cute. I promise couples will be starting to have babies soon. As I mentioned, Han and Araminta, we're gonna have them try for a baby again in the next episode. And then I have another couple that might be pregnant. So you guys will see who that is in the next episode. But yay, okay, they're married. They're so cute. We are going to be having their reception now. So yeah, some people are eating. We have have them dancing. They're slow dancing right over here. Look how freaking cute this is. This is adorable. Oh gosh, I love the slow dancing mod so much. It's by Sacrificial Mods too, in case you're wondering, but it is amazing. I cannot wait to use this for the balls and stuff too. I had still some people asking. I know I mentioned this in the past though, for the debutante balls, it's not gonna happen until like our wedding season is over. So as you guys saw with the intro, with the first one with Caspian and Alice May, which we'll talk about very soon. We're gonna go to the Windenburg Palace right after this, but I'm kind of like sprinkling in some storyline stuff during our wedding season. So that way, as soon as wedding season's over, I can like really get into some story stuff. And that's when like all the action will happen. But yeah, we'll go there in just a moment. They're slow dancing. We have our aunt Megan here. Nay is here. Her uncle Michael is just jamming. Oh, we have, okay, well, there's a plant right in between them. But we have William talking to Minerva's dad, Jack. And then Minerva's here with her mom. So yeah, again, this is like a smaller wedding with just family. We have Ellis here because we have the Willow Creek kids here. He's considered family, so of course he's invited. I'm sure they congratulated Ellis and Cornelius on their engagement as well. Oh my gosh, William is dancing. Look at him! Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, but I'm going to have them kiss. Here we go, look them. Oh, oh, she's giving him a rose. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. But yay, okay. We now have our last thing to get to. We're going to go to the Windenburg Palace. They'll have their nice little wedding. I'll make sure to take pictures of them too. And they all look so cute. All these couples are so cute. I love them so much. Okay, so we are now at the Windenburg Palace. And I do believe I mentioned in the last episode that we would be able to see Alice May at her banquet. I'm so sorry. I just didn't think we would be able to fit it in. I mean, not much would have happened there. I mean, she would have 
given her speech, but basically that already happened. So at this point, I think it would have happened a few days ago. Like I think the banquet would have been a few days before Diana's wedding. Jabari still is in Selva Dorada, but I do think that they got people to tape her speech and Jabari got to see it later. And I feel like he called Alice May after he saw it and just told her how amazing she did and that he's super proud of her. So Jabari's still gonna be in Selva Dorada until after, well, I guess the next episode or like after the next episode, because the next episode is going to be Adric's coronation ceremony. Also, I know some people were confused, but Adric is like, he's king now. As soon as the monarch dies, the heir immediately becomes the monarch. So the coronation ceremony is just like the event of it. But Adric is already king. So he is King Adric. Um, I also had posted the poll about the name for Selvadorada and Dakarai. I had forgotten for a few days. So since I just recently posted that poll, you can go vote on my community posts. I will tell you guys what the result is in the next episode. But yeah, so we're here. Oh wait, oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. Caspian, Alice May, and Cedric are all talking out here. Aw, Cedric. Well, I'm pretty sure he was just feeling embarrassed, but he's not anymore. But yeah, it's been a little over a week since the intro where Caspian and Alice May talked. Caspian feels a lot more comfortable talking to her now and like just being around her after knowing that she's not dating Kaleo. So Alice May and Caspian, they've been hanging out with with each other a lot more. Looks like him and Cedric are talking now too. I feel like this is probably one of the first times that he's getting to talk to Cedric, or at least one of the first times where he's like openly talking to Cedric. Also, I just realized that the fences are different colors here. This is gonna change. So we're gonna say they're doing some renovations to the palace. It's gonna be the same palace, but Lord Crumbs, who built the Brindleton Bay Palace, he's actually helping re-landscape the whole front of this. So as soon as that's done, I will show it to you guys. I think it might be done actually by the next episode. He's amazing. You guys need to go check out Lord Crumbs on the gallery because he has such amazing palace builds. So yeah, a big thank you to him for helping me with that. Also, I, I guess we'll just have, well, should they like go, I don't know, go somewhere? I feel like they're just done with their studies and they're just hanging out. Nia's probably working late again. Should they go? <gasps> Wait, maybe they would take Cedric there. Okay, I'm going to have them go to the Island Bluffs. I sort of feel like Alice May kind of knows about it. Like maybe she's heard stories of it, but maybe they all just go on like a little, I don't know, adventure together, like down to the beach and then they find the opening to the Island Bluffs. But yeah, cause the Island Bluffs is where Megan and Kellen eloped. And Amir and Jabari, I think were there. I think they met there one time too when they were dating or before they were dating. I need to refresh myself on my own episodes. But okay, yeah. So pretend they like found, they were like going through the forest or something and Alice, May, Caspian, and Cedric and they found the opening. I feel like no one's been here in years. So it was probably like a really blocked off area. But this is cool. Okay, yeah. But we'll have them just chat and hang out here while I just talk through a few things. So I wanna talk about the flashback that I posted on my Instagram with Kaleo and Alice May. Basically, I'm just gonna be posting some scenes, mostly just smaller scenes that don't make it as a machinima, just to give you guys a better idea of the characters. And I'll always let you guys know if I post something in a video after I post it. And I'll always share the links to that just in case you either don't have an Instagram or just missed the post. But yeah, that was just a little flashback of Kaleo and Alice May. You guys, oh my gosh, they just hit bump. That was so cute. And just to clarify, it too. So I had some people ask like, oh, does Kaleo want to be the king of Sulani? But he doesn't. He was mostly just trying to brag to Alice May. Cause like, how are you supposed to brag to someone who's going to be the queen one day? Like she's the heir to the throne. So he just wanted to make himself look good, I guess. Kind of him saying like, oh, I could rule a kingdom too. Like that sort of thing. He was a kid. He's just saying dumb stuff. Sometimes people just do things without thinking. So like, that's just kind of what he was doing. And then also because some people had a question about this. So Alice May, she knows that Kaleo likes her. I think she can just tell, but Kaleo doesn't know that Alice May knows, but Alice May also hasn't really said anything. I think a lot of it is because subconsciously she knows that Kaleo would like do anything for her and she doesn't want to tell him that she doesn't feel the same way and like ruin that. And I don't even think Alice May like realizes that. And then Kaleo is just kind of scared to tell Alice May about his feelings for her because they're such good friends. And Alice May, she's just like so outgoing, so bubbly and I think sometimes it comes off 
I guess it's like a little bit flirty, but Kaleo just doesn't want to ruin their friendship. But I'll be posting some more scenes too. If you're confused about anything, I will either clear it up and answer it, or it will be revealed later in the story. But yeah, and then also just to talk about the intro too, Alice May, she does always feel like she needs to be happy, and she does have this like specific mold that she feels like she has to fit. Like Alice May just feels like she has to meet the expectations of what's expected from her, from her mother, from her dad, from just everybody really. There's a lot of pressure on her. She's the heir. She's an older sister. She wants to keep that like, I guess, image that Cedric has of her too. She wants to be a good role model for him. So she never really likes to tell people if something's wrong or that she's feeling down. And yeah, the whole thing with Jabari too, she just felt bad for being upset about him missing her speech because he had to be there for his nephews because Cayman, his brother, just passed away. And Caspian was just telling her like, it's okay to be upset about that, especially if something like that is important to you. Like, obviously he's not saying like throw a tantrum and scream about it, but like you're allowed to be sad about things is basically what he was trying to tell her. And I think that really helped Alice May. Like, I think she felt less stressed after she was told that, like realizing, right, it's okay if I am sad, like I don't have to show it to people, but like, it's okay. But yeah, so we will see a lot more of these kiddos. We'll see a lot more of the other kiddos too. The next episode, we're going to be having King Adric's coronation ceremony, which I'm very excited for. Oh, and then one last thing too, the royal family episodes might be taking a little bit longer to come out. Like I probably won't come out with the episodes as often. I just wanna make sure that I don't get burnt out, but I'm gonna make sure that every episode, like if you haven't noticed, the past few ones have been a lot longer. So I'm gonna make sure they're longer. This storyline that I have planned is just having a lot going on with it. So I just need to make sure I don't get burnt out and also need time to make sure everything is good. So the royal family episodes will probably come out like every week and a half or every two two weeks. And then I also want to make sure I get the other videos done that we've been talking about, like the children that never happened video. I want to do a tutorial on how I take my pictures and all that stuff too. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Again, you can see my posting schedule on my Instagram and my Twitter, and I'll post it on the community post on YouTube too. But yeah, so we'll leave them here. They have found this cool place. I do feel like Alice May is very adventurous. Like she wants to be at least, but she can't always be. But I think she's like really excited about this place. She thinks this is really cool. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know your guys' thoughts about everything. Let me know what you thought of Cornelius and Alice's proposal and of Diana and Abraham's wedding and Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton's wedding. Let me know what you think of William and Minerva and Jessica and Frederick on their little double date. Let me know what you guys think of Alice May and Caspian and this whole situation. I love seeing your guys' comments. Please just remember again to be kind, to be respectful. I love you guys. You're amazing. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.